Welcome back to Lens Studio. In this video, we're going to see how you can import 3D objects into your project. We will add the 3D ground to our lens to make it look better and make it more immersive. Lens Studio supports the FBX, GLTF, and OBJ file format, which can be generated by many 3D tools. There is a very helpful guide on the Lens Studio website which you can learn more about importing and also exporting from different sources. With that said, I already exported a ground model from one of the 3D tools as the FBX file format. To import it, simply drag and drop the 3D files into the objects panel. Then, in the newly opened window, click on import. Now, you can see the 3D objects in our scene and it's really big. Also, it's rendering on top of everything. Let's fix this problem. To fix a rendering issue, simply change the layer to minus one so we make sure the shadow will render on top of our mesh. Then, let's change the mesh shadow mode to be a receiver. To do that, select the ground mesh and then in the inspector panel, change the shadow mode to be a receiver. Now, let's change the scale and position it in the middle of our scene. If we take a closer look at the ground texture, you can see it has a transparency on it and our mesh is not drawing that transparency part. To fix this, select the ground material, then in the inspector panel, change the blend mode to normal. Cool, now our mesh is drawing with transparency. Now it's time to make our mesh look nicer by adding some reflection to it. First, let's turn on the specular. Then, click on the Param Texture input and select the white texture so we can customize the value using the sliders. I'm gonna use metallic and roughness slider to give it more depth. Let's play with this parameter to make it look better. Cool! Now let's place the ground objects in the word object controller to make sure it will move with other objects. Amazing! Now we have both 3D and 2D merged together in one scene. Lens Studio allows you to compose a new experience using whatever you're comfortable with, whether it be 2D images, 3D models, sound, coding, and more. That's it! We finally finished our lens! It's looking really good, right? In the next video, which is the last one in the series, I'm gonna show the final step to make the lens ready and publish it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video!